All right, it's been a while since we did anything new to the Father Son Yukon project. Today, we got a little bit of extra power for it. Not only are we gonna put the alternator in, we're gonna do a side-by-side -side test with the factory one and see just how much more output you can get by getting a more high output alternator than your factory one. Now you may not need a 370 like this one is, but the benefits to a high output alternator are usually pretty noticeable right off the bat. Most of you are familiar with the SMD81. We're gonna do it a little bit different. The 81 uses a load bank, and I can tell you how much power that amplifier can possibly put out underneath its best circumstances but the problem is is that when a speaker is moving the impedance is changing so it's not going to be a four ohm speaker once the woofer is moving it's going to be all sorts of different numbers so we're going to use an amm1 in dyno mode you have a 1000 watt amp and it's actually putting out 12 1300 watts when it's being tested it's still a 1300 watt amp but once it's hooked up to a speaker it's going to be a lot less than that in reality but it's still a 1000 watt amp. Let's go ahead and hook the AMM one up in his ride, play a couple tracks, see how much dyno power we can get out of it while it's playing regular music, and then we'll put the alternator in and run it again and see just how much of a benefit you can get by doing this. So here we go, let's go, let's do it. All right, we already got an excess power D3400 in here. All the wiring's done, the big three. We just got that factory alt. And more than likely with the power that's in this truck, the factory alt is right about where it should be. It doesn't need a whole heck of a lot more uh, with a thousand watt amp on the base and maybe, you know, 300 on the mids and highs. But it should be a noticeable improvement. He's got some voltage drop right now. And of course, later on, he's gonna wanna upgrade his sound system. You don't wanna worry about the alternator that'll already be done. All right, so the people that are new to this and they don't know what's in here, we've got an iPad mini, SMD VU DIN down below, Sony head unit, nice clean little setup, two Rockford Fosgate Punch 12s and a ported box. We got the amplifiers down in here underneath the seat. If you watch the install series, you can see how we did all this. Punch 1000, punch 300.2, self-cooling with an SMD TM1. Okay, this is really easy. I got the positive and negative probes off of the AMM1 going to the positive and negative on the speaker wire. Take one of the wires, run it straight through the hole, and right back over to the speaker terminal. All right, the vehicle is running. We're gonna take note of the exact number of volume that he's on, so that's not gonna change. And, um, I guess we're gonna use this Be Legit song. I use this all the time in my own demos. It's got a nice, long, hardcore bass note. All right, he's got a bass knob. It's turned up a little more than three quarters of the way. We're gonna tuck that down and not even touch that. So tuck that away. All right, all right we're, we're gonna start, start slamming on it a little bit. And then he's gonna tell me the number that he was on. Uh, this deck, I believe, starts clipping at 43. So 42 is probably about where he's gonna have it. So let's turn this shit up. Let's see how much power it's putting out with the stock alternator. We'll switch it out, see if we get more. All right, when I say go, just rail on it for like 20 seconds. Go for it. All right, bud, what 
number did you take that up to, 42? Yeah. Okay. That's actually not too bad considering those woofers are moving and they're not stuck at one impedance. So considering the resistance is changing at all times when those speakers are moving, that ain't too bad. All right, he just told me that he was at idle on that test. So we're gonna go ahead and bring it up to about 2,500 RPM and run the test again. And then we'll do the same with the new mech man. Hold on, but wait a minute. Ding. RPMs up to 2500 bud? Yeah. Alright, cool. So it didn't really change a whole heck of a lot between having the alternator turning and not turning. It probably would on a much larger system, but I have a feeling that stock alt can handle that punch 1000 pretty well. Although, I think we're going to be able to get a little bit more out of it due to the voltage drop here in a second. As soon as we oh. put the new one in. Let's go ahead and uh, pop the Megman alternator in and see if it gets any better. Factory alternator at idle. Go ahead, bud. All right, now bring it up to 2500. Trying to put this mech man in and see what the difference is. That damn thing out of the way. In. Ready to test it out. Gotta put the air cleaner back on. Fire it up. The wiring isn't perfect yet because we haven't hooked up the ABBM yet. We're just going swap for swap. We're taking out the old one, putting in the new one. Factory wiring. I just want to see how it compares before we start cranking the voltage up. So go ahead and start it up, bud. No. All right, hey, go ahead and slap some beats. Put it on 42, everything, same as last time. Mechman alternator. Add idle. Go ahead. Not bad, add idle, the thing's not even moving. All right, give it some gas, 2,500 RPM. Quite a drastic difference between the two. Now let's go back there and see how that translates into music. All right, bud, let it idle. 
Go ahead. Alright, that wasn't too bad. As you can see, it was a lot more stable. So now let's go ahead and give it a little bit of gas. Alright, bring it up to 2500 RPM, bud. And then let it have it. Definitely, definitely an improvement. Not only is there a little bit more power, but it's also stable. It was hardly even moving from 900 watts with it at 2,500 RPM. I even saw a thousand at the beginning. I'm gonna check the voltage drop real quick. Hey, the verdict is in, even without the AVBM. It's like almost no voltage drop. Maybe just a little bit, but not hardly anything. So gotta give credit to the Mechman Alt. Now let's look up the AVBM, give this thing another volt, and test it again. Make sure you check out the next video as we install the Mechman AVBM. We're gonna turn this thing up about a volt and see if it's gonna make more bass or if that's just a myth.